In this video tutorial, I will show you how to link quotations with quotations semantically. This is what we call hyperlinking in Atlas TI. This can be done within a document or across documents. Uh, so let's take a look at this. I have a quotation here and let me code it with code X. Now let's say that uh, this person here goes on to say to talk about something different but later on uh, the person goes back to what uh, she or he was saying before so one one option that we have is to select the second segment and not code it with the same code X but rather create a free quotation and then link it or hyperlink it uh, with the other one so I will say this quotation is continued by this other one so I did this because it seems to me that both quotations are part of the same argument, but it just happened that there was an interruption of a few sentences. So instead of coding both with the same code, I decided to code only one with the code and hyperlink the other one uh, to, the uh, to the first one. So now they are connected. One is connected with the other one. Now, how else can we do this? There are different procedures, as I said. So one is doing this on the margin. Uh, the other one, uh, let's say that I want to um, uh, have the same document in two windows. Duplicate tab. So now I have this document on the left and exactly the same document on the right. So let's say now that I am working here and I find this, I create the quotation out of it, it's here, and let's say that I look at this other one here and say, and, and, and it's the same document and I say, oops, and these two quotations should be connected. So working with the same document in two, uh, let's say two, uh, uh, windows or two spaces can be very beneficial if you have a long document and you want to hyperlink a quotation that is in on top with a quotation that is much um, uh, uh, it's th that is below um, so you just select the quotation and this other one and now you proceed to make the connection and you select whatever uh, relation you want to select let's say explains okay so again this document is the same one as this one but we can see them in two different uh, spaces which can fa can facilitate the process of hyperlinking so what are the other uh, options that we have let me close this here and let me open my quotation, my, my navigator, I'm sorry. And here you have your quotation. So you can say, oh, look at that, that quotation there. And you say this quotation here. And you say, you know, I really think this two should be linked uh, one with the other. So you select one, drag and drop it on top of the other one. And let's say that the first one is criticizing the second one. Now, I am selecting first the one on top and then the one below, but of course that is irrelevant. You can do, you can select one below and move and, and link it uh, to one that is on top. It, it doesn't really matter. Criticizes, so there is criticizes there, okay? Uh, now, if you want to do this, um, 
let's say, in a network view, we can also do that. So let me open here a new network. And I am going to insert a quotation, insert another one, and insert another one. OK? And let's view this, these quotations. And this happens to be a video quotation. You see how nice it is, right? the preview of the video quotation. Uh, and here you can also uh, do these linkages. So let's, let's say this one is justifying that one. And this one is criticizing what is shown in this video. Let's suppose that, right? And that's another way of creating these hyperlinks. In this case, in a network view. And here, I am doing this across documents. This one comes from document 3. This one from document 4. This one from document 5. OK, perfect. Now, let's try to do this in another way. I'm going to select my uh, document here. And I'm going to get another document and place it on the side. Uh, now, I will hyperlink. So let's say I'm going to select a segment from this other document here. I will create a quotation. And I'm going to say, and this segment here is expanding upon what is being said in this other segment, which belongs to another document. OK? So this is hyperlinking across documents. So these are different ways of doing that. Thank you.